Hello. In a few days it will be Thanksgiving and often we are invited to say what we're thankful for and to what we want to say thank you. And I don't know about you but some years it's a little more difficult and it, it feels that we ought to be thankful but we don't feel it inside. In the news, we witness so many tragedies. Of course, there were the recent terrorist attack in uh, Edmonton, the mass shooting in, in Las Vegas. But these are just the ed headlines because war in Syria is still going on and there's almost forgot the, ter the terrible hurricanes we, the, we witness just a few weeks ago and all the people are still suffering maybe some people some of you are have or have a relative suffering from cancer or a debilitating uh, a disease it's difficult to be thankful when tragedy strikes and maybe it's difficult for someone like me a white metal aged man to acknowledge what we receive, all the blessings we have, often is when we lose it uh, due to age, uh, ability, tragedies, or when we are not able to have the same rights, the same benefits than other people because we, we belong to a minority, that we are more aware of our blessings. In the Gospel according to Luke, on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus met ten leopards. And the leopards are not like leopards today. The term is more uh, related to anyone who has a, a skin disease that could be contagious. And the answer was not medication, but to cast them away and, and to shut them and to be an outcast. So ten of them, keeping their distance, shout, have mercy on us, Jesus, please cure us. And they're cured. They're cured, all of them. But only one come back. And that one is a Samaritan. And the way the text seems to point that we ought to assume that the nine others were Jews like Jesus. And the Samaritan were not necessarily, um, well, they were not liked from what we understand at that time. Um, I don't know, but uh, here we seem to have all those jokes a few years ago about new fees or Don Blondes, you know, laughing of them. Somehow I feel like the Jews must have jokes about Samaritans, like uh, how many Samaritans does it take to change a light bulb, like none, they have no clue what it is. You know, they, they were looking from, from above, and they were little people, you know, but it's the, this Samaritan that come back to Jesus and say thank you. And the Samaritans are in fact not that different from other minorities that somehow don't expect to have it easy don't expect to be healed don't expect to be treated like others don't don't assume they will have a normal status like people like me because of who they are so when they are back brought they they, they brought back to what I would consider to be normal, for them it's a huge improvement. Normal for me, it's amazing for them. And that's why they acknowledge that blessing and they may be more keen to say thank you. We're dwelling in a world that is violent. Uh, like I said, hurricanes, climate change, uh, wars and and today we're alive and most of us will go back to our cars or home or have a walk and we will not 
Our, our safety will not be in jeopardy. We will not even have to think about it. And we will not have to fight to put a minimum of food and nourishment on the table tonight. And we have friends. We have family. Many around the world and around us cannot say the same. Does not Many do not enjoy the same blessings that we thought would be normal. So let us not forget this on this time when we're invited to say thank you. Not take everything we have for granted, like the minimum. Let us appreciate what we have. Let us live in the moment. And let us be thankful for the smallest things that bless our life. And let us share with those who cannot have this. Have a great Thanksgiving weekend. I hope you will be able to appreciate it with loved ones. And until next time, I remain Stéphane Vermette, the lectionary man. Bye-bye.